Nothing on the cart. Give me a ride. Oh, you know what? To the brewery. I will go to the brewery. Because they definitely have a... I think the trade-off would be too big, but I guess the shield stance and middle armor? What do you mean, Snork? What are you, what are you talking about? What trade-off and stuff? Oh, dang it. Oh, to get 100% bleed res. I see, I see. I forgot this was full of, full of stuff. I'll throw these scrolls down. And I don't need the mead. And I don't think he buys stuff. Maybe he does. Maybe Krom bought something. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 if you can get 100 bleed res, it would be very hard. Um, but either way. One barrel. There's there's no way this will fit, right? There's, I can't fit another barrel in here anywhere. I'm trying, but I don't believe it's going to work. I believe I'm wasting time. Let me see here. Let me pull this out. Will you buy any of this off me? Krom, buy my stuff. Oh, he pays so little. Whatever. I'll just, I'll just leave. I'll just leave. I'm not going to... You can't fit a keg in the backpack, can you? If you could turn it, you could. Dang it. That's yeah, okay. I will just leave. One keg is enough. Off for the day. Alrighty. Well, I hope you rest up well. Hope you have a nice night, Snork. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. I will. I will have lots of fun. Good night to you as well. And I will go to Manshire. And you pay him based on the distance, so you don't lose that much for, for stopping by the brewery. You lose like a little. I think he pay, charges like a little bit extra for going stopping at the brewery and then coming here, but it's not much. Sell him my barrel of junk and then open this up, take the stuff out of it, and then I'll go to bed and we'll do a tier two quest because we're out of tier ones. The tier two was a little dangerous, but I have another potion. I have another vivifying essence and I've, I've leveled up since then, so. And the level that I got is actually, as mentioned, I really think Brace for Impact is very, very impactful. It is it is a noticeable level, so I'm, I'm confident. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I am. Do I need to repair my gear at all? Yeah, okay, okay, then I'll repair my gear. Um, I'll sell the pelt to the, the apprentice so, so I can repair my gear there. Well, I'll repair my gear so I can sell the pelt is what I should say. Um, so this here, this stuff here. Okay, and please someone have a good mace for me. I wasn't checking the, the carpenter, but I bet they sell some maces too. I probably should have done this. Not there this time, but it might have been worthwhile to check them before. And how many ingots are we up to? Four now? One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. So fix my gear, young man. Then buy that pelt from me. Okay. No new maces. Why can't I get a new mace? This might even be the same inventory, actually. I think I sold him this dagger. But I would really like a new mace. That's okay. I will live with my old mace. I will live with what I have now. That will be okay. Collect the water. Drink it up. Do I need any meds? Hmm... <clears throat> I think I'm fine on meds. I will accept a quest. Am I hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Buy some veggies. Okay. I ate my veggies. I'm no longer hungry. Do you need any help? Monastery records. Okay, deal. And it's up here. This ham... Or excuse me, this sausage good? It's not even stolen anymore. Let's go. It's, it's been on the ground long enough. So when I eat this sausage, oh, this will be my new my new pocket sausage. And we'll hopefully be able to do this quest in one more. Hopefully it's not too long. Just digging in the grave here. There can be some really good stuff in here, so 
Well, I know there can be some really good stuff in here, but I've heard this is worthwhile doing, so I will. I used to think it damaged your gloves and not just your hands. Uh, now that I know it doesn't, I'm happier to do this. Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing again. That's okay. Can't get lucky every time. It's pretty rare to get good stuff out of the graves, but I believe there is some rather, rather very good stuff you can get occasionally, so... And we have Vigor. I should have got the EXP buff. I always forget it's there. You can get free EXP in, in the town. A free, free bonus to your EXP, and I didn't grab it. Because I'm bad. For no other reason than my badness. Okay, almost there. Might be some ghouls when I leave. Hopefully it's not late when I leave. I could dig all these graves, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to bang my hands up. And it damages your hands a little bit every time you do it. I'll take that horseshoe. It's worth a little bit. Mine as well. I'll probably throw it away before I go in, but it's one one little piece of one little inventory space. It's it's good enough to take. Where's the trap? Okay, there's the trap. Oh, Paragoric, let's go. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. I will use this probably. Oh, I didn't bring my net with me. I meant to bring it back with me. Dang it. It's up in the up in the uh, the room there, in my bedroom, in Manshire. It's ooh, let's go. It's just sitting there doing nothing. So if I get a little afraid of the boss, I might get the net. Okay, no big deal, no big deal, easy. And if I keep missing, maybe it's a big deal. Okay, we're fine. I don't know why it was clicking like that. Piece of leather. Okay, apply it to my hat. You're not leather? Okay, whatever, my belt. That was a not great, not great piece of equipment or whatever to repair. Costs like nothing to repair it, so. And I'm just getting this guy away from the martyr so he doesn't get uh, supported by him. Pretty good loot there. Ooh, double good loot. That's a great room. That means the whole dungeon has good loot, right? One good room, the whole dungeon's gotta be good. Oh, it's a two-floor dungeon, too. So I might leave, just do the first floor and then leave and grab my net. Can you miss more, please? Jeez. Missed like four times in a row again. Ooh, a book? I'll read it, get the EXP. How close am I to a level? Halfway. Halfway to the next level. I don't really know what I'm going to take for the next level. Maybe leg sweep? Maybe leg sweep? I was told it's pretty good. And I don't want to enchant any of my gear that's not... Maybe the shield. I'll use it on my shield. The shield is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, I don't have any plans on, on getting a new one right away, so... I'll salve up while I'm here. Might as well. Arm for shield up, and then brace for impact. Nope, that was a turn too early. Okay. They swapped, and now this, the support's in back, so that's sad. I had to fight this guy while he's supported. Didn't want to do that. But that was just the game's doing, not really mine. This dagger's probably worth selling, so I will uh, I'll identify it if I can. Secret room? Nah, never lucky. They're so rare. They're so rare, but I always want to find them. I haven't found a single one on stream yet. I, I don't search enough, though. I can't really complain, because I I'm, I failed to search. But I would really like to find one. It would just be fun. Oh, didn't mean to step on that. Let's go. I don't know why he didn't just walk around, but he caught himself on fire instead. I will take it. 
I was hoping it would do that. I, I don't know why he chose to do it, but I'm glad he did. The trap has been triggered for me. turn and then brace for impact. I always, I need to remember this, this enemy, what are they called? The Adept does a, like a ranged attack on their first turn, so it's not good to armor up right away. They always wait, wait one turn before walking into you. I thought this enemy would do the same. I should just look at their skills a little more. Oh no, this is the Flagellant, okay. Okay. Oh, an unidentified mace. Um, I normally don't like these maces that much, but, uh, because it's blue, it might be good enough. Another enchantment scroll. That's really good. I'll just put it back for now, because I don't want to wiggle my inventory around. Okay, okay, good stuff. Now I will wiggle my inventory around. Each time you move something in your, in your inventory, it takes one turn, so... You don't want to move stuff around in combat, or you will be wasting your turns. Many of them. Ooh, let's go another book. And this one's fine, too. This one's free free reading. I'll just eat this. Put this here. And then I'll probably I'll probably leave this dungeon, as mentioned. Mm, I'll, I'll go ahead and go down. Time for me to grab some sleep. Peace. Hey, it was great chatting with you, Lyric. It was great. Hope you have a nice rest, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Did I just, like, trigger a trap as I walked down? What was that? It sounded weird. Oh, I identified this trap. Okay, okay. <sighs> Another trap. That's okay. That's okay. Merge. I'll just rest up. I need to sw switch to my healer staff, rest up, use a salve. Maybe use two salves. Then we'll, we'll get back at it. Ooh, a Chosen. Jeez, come on. Why are you here, Chosen? Oh, someone caught on fire over there, too. Someone, someone stepped on a flame trap over there. I'm going upstairs. I want the uh, Chosen to follow me upstairs so I can guarantee it's 1v1 combat. Okay, I, I armored up for their big attacks. I'm not as worried about them anymore. Let's go. Let's go. That's the power of armor. Armored defense. Whatever it's called. Armor up? I keep calling it armor up. That's not what it's called. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. That is the power of bracing for impact. It is very, very good. I cannot recommend it enough. I find that skill to be very powerful. Take the bell. Why not? Was my backpack full of, full of loot? No, I need to fill it up with loot. If it's not full of loot, it needs to get full of loot real quick. There we go. And organize this a little better. Okay. So I said I was going to leave and I keep going, but I just, I feel comfortable. Especially after I killed that Chosen so easily. I feel like really comfortable. That's that's when you tend to die, though. When you when you stop being afraid is when you tend to die. So I should focus up and, and not let myself die. Not be so confident. I should maintain my fear. Not misclick like that. That was a really bad misclick, too. Took like three hits for no reason. Hmm. The crossbow seems fine. Maybe worth keeping. Yeah, if it was better durability, it'd be, like, way better, but my inventory had the space. I'll probably throw it down, but maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see by the end of the dungeon how I'm feeling. Mm, wasted a turn there. Okay, okay. I could eat the mind word. Might as well. drink some water. I'll just wait. I'm only 19 thirst. I can wait on that. 
So the boss must be through here. Or is this way? Nope, yeah, that way's empty. Must be over here somewhere. <clears throat> Lots of unidentified items on this run. Mm, dagger's not in the best condition. I'll just leave it. Okay. How close am I to level? Still pretty far away. Hopefully I didn't aggro the boss, but I think I did. We will see. We will see if the boss is aggroed too. Looks like no. Looks like I got their, their supports without aggroing him, so that's what I wanted. The, the bell boy not coming? The the bell carrier? Chase me up. I guess they're not they're not chasing me up. I don't know why. I feel like they were pretty close. They should chase me up now? This time? There we go. Okay. And they have the bells as usual. Um, I have no room for them as usual. I'll just... Don't I have two scrolls? No? I thought I had two enchantment scrolls. Did I leave one behind? Oh, I used it on here. I used it on the shield. Um, yeah, I don't want to enchant my weapon. I really want to get rid of it as soon as possible. <coughs> I'll just leave the bells. I'll leave the bells. That's fine. I will salve up, switch to my healer staff, and rest. Should have switched to my healer staff earlier. I need to be quicker about that. Okay, so this boss should be pretty easy. I took out the uh, the supporting units. It's just the boss now. At least I believe it's just the boss now. Yep. Are they broken? Oh no, no, okay. And I'm just running them to near nearer to the door so that nothing can come through here if they hear combat. Okay, this boss, this boss will be no big deal now. Not worried at all. Oh jeez, they're only at half HP. I thought they were a little lower. Maybe I am a little worried. Nine HP. I don't want to risk it. Wait, where's my vivifying essence? What did I do with that? I, I swear I had a vivifying essence somewhere. I really thought I got a new one. I don't know what, what happened there. I I really thought there was one in my... I, I'm super confused about that. Like, I don't know at all what happened to my vivifying essence. I would have been less confident on this boss fight. I was without, without it. I really thought I had it. Um, I'm glad I didn't die there. I, I was quite certain I had an essence in my inventory, so... Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I already drank it, but I thought I got another one since then. Oh, an ID scroll. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, that's insano mode. That is insano mode. I'm super duper using that. That's incredibly good. Skills and energy cost is fine, but the life drain is really, really good. 10% life drain is going to be a huge amount of healing. Um, as mentioned, it's going to be lessened by the ring I'm wearing, but that's fine. That is totally fine. Get rid of this for this. The bust, it's not worth that much. The bust is not that great. Hmm. I'll just use it. I will just use it on this ring. That's fine. That is fine. And the census records are the quest reward, so I need to find a way to fit them. I need just one more. One more tile. Am I in pain or anything? Nope, zero pain. How am I in zero pain? Oh, maybe it's the pain res belt. I don't know. I don't know what to get rid of.
Let's get rid of this bloodletting blood lancet. I don't use it. I should use it, I think. I think it's better than I give it value for, but I don't use it, so I will just get rid of it. And I'm super stoked about that flail. Life drain on that flail is great. So even though it's not, not that high damage, um, I should heal up when I hit people. At least sometimes. I'm at max HP now, so it doesn't work, but... 10% of, of, like, 10, you know, will just be one. But one every time is good. Yeah, one one every turn is... It'll make a huge difference over the course of, of like, 100 turns. Or just the course of whatever, whatever length the combat is, so... And I will drink and get rid of... And then I will eat some pocket... Oh, no, not move. Eat. Eat some pocket sausage. I didn't throw the mead just because there's no room. Oh, another book. Let's go. Um, but I need to get some, get rid of something again. I can get rid of this. It's not worth that much. That's fine. That's fine. Dungeon complete. And it was a really good dungeon. This was actually a great dungeon. Um, all these books. I say all these books. Yeah, four books. Four books in total. That's quite a few. Um, other loot. Other generic loot is also good. Oh, maybe I should have dropped this weapon. I've been, like, panicking or whatever, like, nitpicking about what to drop, and I have this weapon. But it was worth more than I thought, so I'm glad I kept it. So we'll go back to town and stock up for another dungeon. See, try to find my vivifying essence. I don't know why I don't have it. I don't, I don't know where I threw it down, but I must have put it down somewhere. Or maybe I drank it and I can't remember, but I really feel like I should have it. Like, I really feel like it should be somewhere. I don't, I don't know where it is. But with all those books, yeah, I was about to say, we should be very near level. 115 EXP away. That is very near indeed. So I might actually do just a touch of wandering to find maybe some bandits, if I'm lucky. Yeah, it's fine. Looks like no bandits. Maybe on this tile, but uh, maybe on the next tile, but probably not. I've already walked through these tiles, so I would expect that I would have found the bandits, but that's okay. No bandits, we'll just get the quest or the level up tomorrow. Like tomorrow, bleh, during the next quest is what I mean. Because we'll start the next quest today. That was just me misspeaking. Do a big click, I'm going to sip some more water. So it's just a little dry. Oh, I'm almost out of water. Drink my whole cup today. Drank the whole bottle. I was a thirsty boy, I guess. And we're home. I can't tell if it's morning or night. At these at these twilight hours, I have trouble telling. Looks like it's getting darker. Looks like it's nighttime. Yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> so I will sleep, and we will sell all this in the morning. And I'm no longer looking for a new weapon. This weapon isn't incredible because of the, the um, fumble chance. I will fumble sometimes, because I don't have anything to counter that. Um, yeah, so I have a fumble chance almost 30% of the time. I fumble. Do, maybe I could actually get the magic mastery point. I feel like this used to be better. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, but I feel like this used to be a little, the fumble chance was more. But I'm, I might take that, I might still take it, just for the fumble chance. Because I have a pretty high fumble chance, and I would like to get it down. I bought a bed here, right? Okay, we did, we did, there's a bed. I don't know where my vivifying essence is, though, I really wish I knew what happened to it. Because I, I don't know, I feel like I had one, but I guess I didn't, or I threw it down or something. The, the answer is probably, like, right in front of me, and I'm just not realizing it, but that's okay. I need a new uh, coin purse, too. I'm finally at the point on this character where I need a second coin purse. I'm rich. I am rich to the point where I need more than one bag to hold all my coinage. Oh, come on. You won't... I, geez, game, really? Okay, pick up the coins now, and then fill them in here. Okay, and then I will repair my gear, 
Look for new stuff. Nothing new yet. Same same inventory as last time. Oh, I want to sell this to the... I should have repaired here then. Oh no, he has 400 gold still, because it's the same as last time. Let's go, let's go. And then these sell more to the other merchants, so I will go up there. I'll do the quest. I'll, I'll finish the quest or whatever, claim my reward, and then I will go up to the merchant. Mm, Return of the Necromancers. A little, a little spooky. The Necromancer can be tough. The mobs in there aren't that hard, though. The skeletons, because I do crushing damage, aren't that dangerous to me. Or, relatively speaking, are less dangerous to me, is what I should say. I might sell these down in Bryn. I might go to Bryn and look for a mace down there. I don't really want to, though. That's fine. I'll sell them here. And then I'll go down here. I forgot to sell my weapon, and I need to, uh, I didn't check for any helmets. I didn't see if Dietrich's here. Dietrich? 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 Dietrich, I guess? I didn't see if he has any weapons, so I'll check that. Or helmets, excuse me. And he does. I'll buy. Which one of these do I want, actually? Um, 10 protection, 10 fizz res, negative 4 energy. 10 protection, 10 fizz res. Bleed resonance, 10. They're so similar. I'm just gonna buy this one. It fits in line with my other gear. Now we'll sell this here and go back up. Oh, I never sold this though. Sell this here for 82. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That was worth keeping. Sell this here. I'll just sell this. I didn't realize it was here. Identification scroll? Disenchantment. I want to identify. Oh, and I've been carrying this dagger to throw and I've not been throwing it. I, just, I need to remember that. If I'm going to carry daggers around with me to throw at people, I need to remember to throw them. Identify and an enchant. I'll enchant my helmet. Rending resistance is not, not my favorite. Another cursed one. Energy drain, but negative 25 fatigue resistance. That's a cool curse. That, that Again, I've mentioned this before. I think like all the curses are way more usable now, and I'm very happy with that. A lot of them were just super, super hard to actually use before. Um, but now that they're more usable, I like it a lot. I think it's more fun. My little sleep sponge. You don't sell sleeping sponges here? Okay. I will have to buy the old tech. No new tech for me. I want another bandage. And we'll be good. We'll be good. And then merge... And I'll put my coins away. And then we'll get a quest. We'll get a quest and we'll go and start it. Maybe even do the whole quest. Depends how big the dungeon is. But we're going to go get it started, if nothing else. Put my coins in here. Already had this medicine. I didn't need to buy another, another set of it. Oh, I need lockpicks, though. Don't I have a crowbar? Hey, where's my crowbar? Where did I... Did I throw that stuff down at the, the Oaken Barrel Brewery? And just, like, never never go back for it or something? This is this might be a little bit of a waste of money, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go back to the first city. Oh, no, I can't. I'm too poor. I will, I will do the quest then. Oh, no, I just put my money away. I can't. I'll still just do the quest. I'll just do the quest. It's fine. Um, so we have what I need. We have what I need. And I will go do this quest. I'll level up very early in into the quest. And I have this available to me as well. I might take this. I might take it. What is this? Battle Forge using sensor maneuvers grants negative 20% damage taken. That's a maneuver. That's a maneuver. Okay. Let me go back to that. It's 20% damage taken until next turn. If equipped with a light chest piece, moving to other tiles. Charging maneuver grants 2% dodge to counter. If a heavy chest piece remaining on the same turn grants negative 3% energy cost for 6 turns. I think this is medium. Yes, so I won't get any of the bonuses. But I'll still. this is still negative 20% damage taken um, like on the turn that I use this and the turn that I use this. 
I don't know. I feel like maybe that's leaning too heavily into defense, though. Um, I say that, and then I'm like, well, I could take shields. Hmm. I don't know. I don't even have athletics unlocked. Maybe warfare? Skipping a turn or using stance or maneuvers. Okay. I think I want to take this. I think I want to take this. this. It's not as good on the defense, but the accuracy and abilities energy cost I think will be fine. And then going into defensive tactic is great for me too. This is a... Uh, I think, yeah, I think I can take this happily. Yep, so I'll just be, like, as tanky as possible. That, oh, I was trying to take the skill like I had already leveled. My bad. Um, but I'll just make this character, like, really tanky. Until I can unlock the rest of the mace skills, at least. Which... These will be a while. But these shouldn't be too long. I should be able to get this, um... In, in Bryn? I believe that book is in Bryn. I can just go down there and buy it. If anyone knows, please let me know if, if Mace is 2, the Mace Treatise 2 is in Bryn. If, if so, let me know, please. Um, but I think it is, and I'll just go down there and buy uh, buy Mace 2, and I'll get the, the Hammer and Anvil stance, because that's really good. That'll take care of my fumble chance and stuff like that, too. So, so I will do that soon. I will do that soon. Hmm, I was saying I was going to get skinning soon, too. My initial plan, I think, was to get skinning at 7. Now I have, like, four skills I want to get before then, though. We will see. I guess we'll see when we get there. I don't think I'm taking skinning at 7. I, I've got I've got other other ideas for se for, for level 7. Um, but I'll try to take it before, like, level 10-ish. Oh, welcome back, Gray. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We're, we're almost done here. We, we don't have too much left on the stream, but welcome back for the, the remainder of it. We're just doing some dungeons. Nothing, nothing too spicy. Oh, I did get the, a pretty spicy weapon, though. This lightweight peasant flail, or it's just a peasant flail, flail. the lightweight part is the, the modifier. It has life leech on it, though, life drain. I was very stoked to see that. Um, I'm only healing a little bit, like one per hit, but over time that adds up quite a bit. And I was just discussing what, uh, what point I wanted to take. I think I'm going to go through and take these points. I be using... Meh, I don't like flails. I don't really like flails either. The fumble chance I'm not a huge fan of, but the life drain... Um, just a pretty rare enchant, and my old weapon was was not great, so I was pretty pretty stoked to find this. Um, again, my fumble chance is like thirty right now, but healing once every or one for one every hit is is nice. I like that. Oh, they swapped. They swapped on me. But I have been singing the praises all day of Brace for Impact. I've been I've been very happy with Brace for Impact. I'm very, very happy with it. I'll keep that just for now. Might not keep it forever, but for now I will. I wanna walk this enemy away. I think there's another enemy over there, so just just to get him out of a uh, audio range. I wish it would last longer. Yeah, yeah, I do too. But I, I, I'm happy with two turns of it. Um, I don't know if you were here the last time I went off on this, but raise shield being three turns, and then you, you know, you raise shield first, and then brace for impact. The the two turn window of brace for impact ends up being like you have this huge block chance. I think that's really cool. I think these are a really great combo. Been trying to use it and raise shield. Yeah, yeah. So I do wish it was a little longer, but. I'm okay with it being the, uh, the amount of time it is. Is he going to hit me again? No, there we go. It only lasts for one turn? Lasts for two. The, oh, the dodge and block lasts for two. The uh, the dodge and block buff lasts for two turns. 
Um, yeah. Grants 15 accuracy and block for two turns, and then activates breaks for impact until the next turn. If you brace, then raise. Oh, yeah, I raise first, because raise now lasts for three turns. So you can raise and then have the two-turn window on uh, with brace for impact. Yeah, so I, I raise first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a new change they made it three with this patch. Uh, yeah, raise lasts three turns now, so it's that's what's that's what allowing this combo to work so well. Um, so I've been really enjoying it. Turns my my little buckler. Yeah, I missed it too. Someone I just was rereading it at one point, and I was like, wait, three? What? Um, but that's that's allowing this combo to be uh, pretty good in my opinion. I've been very stoked with it. And then I took this point just now, uh, this point, because they're both raise shield and uh, brace for impact are maneuvers. So, so I'm just getting the the this bonus as well, negative ten percent damage taken during the whole the whole time I'm doing that combo or whatever. The build is very defensively oriented right now, but I'm I'm enjoying it. the The defense is good. I'm I'm not dead, so you know, I'm stoked. Oh, I don't want to fight the mage and this guy at the same time. Whatever. I should have kited him out, but I walked into him. That's my bad. Oh, he's, he should have died by now. Yeah, I think he's resisting. Come on, zombie. Just go down. The mage isn't doing anything, though, so that's fine. Come on, bat. I don't want to walk into you. You've got to walk into me. Free gold? I'll take it. That's actually a good chest. Like 200 gold and a bolt of cloth. That's that's good stuff. If I can, I want the, the archer to be here first. Yeah, let's go. Archer's here first. Oh, they're kiting back, though. I shouldn't have done that yet. That was a I did that one turn too early. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking... I'd love to hear your opinion on this, Gray. I'm thinking about taking this point as well, like really soon. Just to do... Because it's negative 20% damage taken when you uh, when you use a stance. So it would just combo really well with this one, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm spending too many points on like pure defense, though. So I would, I would love your opinion on, on Battleforged. Because between... Not sure yet. Okay, okay. I'll probably give it a try, and then um, I will let you know my opinion on Battle Forge. Then, because um, I don't want to just go all in on defense and not be able to kill stuff, but I don't I don't have the mace skills yet, so um, so I might do it. I'm going to unlock the whole tree eventually. Okay, nice, nice. I don't think this build will take like the whole armored combat tree, um, but I I, I do want to take some more. I haven't gotten a perma that far yet. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, I didn't mean to shut the door. That's fine. I will rest up, swap, and rest up. Use a salve. Why am I so low off max HP? I guess just the, my body parts all being a little low. That's fine. Don't keep... No, I forgot to buy lockpicks. And I, I'm i so upset with myself. I've done that like three times today. Arna keeps failing to, to break or to pick the locks, and I keep forgetting to buy them. Um, and I have a crowbar, but I threw it down somewhere, and I don't remember where I put it. I think it's at the brewery, but... I don't, I don't know. I just don't know where I put it. I can't remember. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just break all the doors. Recover the flak tree, I'm pretty sure guarantees a boss chest, so I will have to leave, but that's okay. Just smacking away me and this zombie for like the next hour, apparently. We're just gonna hit each other for no damage. 
And another thing with, with going like super tanky, you probably have to repair your gear more. Well, I guess then maybe if I'm going this super tanky build, I might want to take this point. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Too many surplus points. I want to take skinning, so it's gonna it's gonna be hard to fit everything I want in on this build. I will have to I'll have to do some soul searching essentially, because I don't I don't know what I'm gonna take. I have lots of stuff I want to take. I've been taking this first, this skill first, just like straight away, self repair. It probably saves you like a huge amount of money. I did the wrong skill. That was just a misclick. But it probably saves you like a huge amount of money over the course of the whole run. And of course, saving money will just let you get better gear quicker, which will hopefully keep you alive longer. Yeah, this, yes, yes. The sooner you take it, the more you're saving. That's why I want to take skinning so soon. I'm like, the sooner I take skinning, the, the better, I'll, the more money I'll make off of it. So, but I don't want to, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling. I have all these skills I want to take, and I only so few points. Oh, and I need the, I forgot. I need to go get lockpicks, because I'm a dang fool, and I didn't buy them. I didn't purchase any. I even looked at it. I saw I had one, and I was like, that's fine. It's like, that won't be a problem at all. Maybe I could salve something. Like, didn't really need it. That's fine. Raise shield. Raise for impact. And he didn't even hurt me. It feels good. Okay, he's hurting me pretty good now. Oh, I should have walked back on that turn, so I didn't have to spend a turn dazed in combat with him. When ultimately debating on taking skinning, I asked myself, do I want the troll pelt? Yeah, that's true. I heard, I can't remember if it was you or someone else that mentioned to me, but um, apparently you're going to be able to craft with the troll pelt. Like, you're going to be able to make something out of it. And this this one skeleton is really smacking me pretty hard. Um, hmm... Oh, and the archer just showed up. Oh, not like this. Dang it. I was really enjoying that character. I can't... It was, I was full HP. I just, uh... I just died. Like, one, one skeleton just killed me. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Sorry about that. Sorry about that one. Well... I'll probably start another Mason Shield build. I was really enjoying that build. My next one will probably be a Mason Shield build. I made it almost all the way through the stream. Right at the end, I died. Rip, rip, rip. That's okay. But this is where I'm going to close it up for the day. This is where I'm going to close it up. It's 7 o'clock exactly, so I guess that's as good a time as any to die. So thank you to everyone who is here today. It was a wonderful stream. I had so much fun. Rimworld was great. Thalheim was great. Stone Shard was great. It was just a wonderful day all around. So thank you to everyone. GG's. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'll be back again at 11 a.m. Central tomorrow, so I hope you all have a lovely night, and I'll see you then. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.